And now, Solid Signal shows you how to do it. Today, we're going to be taking a look at setting up favorite lists on your DirecTV receiver. With 1500 channels to choose from on your DirecTV receiver, it may seem like there's just way too much to look at, especially if you're not interested in things like foreign language or sports channels. So we're going to show you how to set up favorite lists that show you just the programs, just the channels, that you're interested in seeing. It's actually really easy. Let's get started. While you're watching live television, press the menu button on your remote. You'll see a screen just like this one. Use the arrow buttons to go down to Settings and Help and press Select. Then use the right arrow button to go over till Favorite Channels is highlighted. Press Select again. Here you'll see a menu something like this one. I've already set up a favorite list and I've called it Favorites. On your screen, if you haven't set anything up, it will probably be called Custom 1. Arrow down to Custom 1 and press Select. What you'll see is that Edit List should be highlighted. Press the right arrow button and you're going to go into this list that shows you all the channels that you have available. It will even show you channels you don't get, but those will be grayed out. If you want to start with a list that only shows you channels you get, highlight Channels I Get and press Select. It will check all the channels that you get and then you can go back and uncheck them. Check or uncheck a channel from the list by highlighting that check mark and pressing the select button. When you're done, press the left arrow to go back to the edit list highlighter. Because you can have two favorites lists, plus the automatic channels I get list, you're probably going to want to name the lists. You can name them anything that you'd like. Really, anything. Have one list for your kids, one list for you. No matter. This is the same screen that's used for searching for programs. If you're comfortable with doing that, you'll be comfortable with doing this. If this is the first time, you can highlight a letter and press select, or you can use the keys on your remote like an old cell phone. Press once for A, twice for B, thrice for C, that sort of thing. That's right, I said thrice. You don't get an opportunity to say thrice a lot, so I thought I would take it. When you're done, press the exit button to go back to live TV. Anytime you're watching live TV, you can press the info button, scroll over to favorites using the right arrow, and you can change favorite lists very easily. Or, if you're on a channel that you want to add to your favorites, highlight Add to Favorites or whatever you've named the list, and press Select. If it's already on the list, you'll see something like this, giving you the opportunity to remove it. It's super easy and super smart. Taking a few minutes to set up a favorites list when you get your DirecTV receiver is going to pay you back in dividends for a long time. Yes, it does take a little while to go through all those 1500 channels, and you may not even know what some of them are when you're selecting them. That's why it's good to take a look at your favorites list from time to time, see if it still meets your needs. But the good thing is that now, you know how to do it.